Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix one of the most common mistakes that people make when they're working on guitars. So I'm sure we've all done it at some point. We've tightened a screw up into normally on the back of a headstock. That's the most common one that happens on the little machine head screws on the back. And we tighten them up and then the head pops off the screw, uh, leaving a little screw in the headstock and normally not enough to grab it so you can extract it. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you what to do in this kind of situation. Uh, this is actually on a base body and it's a customer brought it to me. He snapped, managed to snap a bridge screw into the base and it broke off really quite deep down. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to remove that now. So you can see the problem here. Uh, the screw here is broken right down below the surface. So there's no way of grabbing that or in drilling it out can be risky as well. You can end up slipping off and causing more damage to the wood. So it actually works out neater just to take a plug out uh, around the wood. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to make the tool to be able to take that little plug out. So here I've got a brass pipe in the vise and I'm just going to cut a cross in the top of this like this. So one going that way, one going that way, just two slits. And I can open these up after to make them more like teeth. So you can see, just made a cut in the top of it there. So now I'm going to do the same going across the other way. So that, that will be the cutting surfaces, these little slots here. So I'm just going to go around and make sure there's no burrs on the outside, which will stop it cutting in a round, perfectly circle. So next I've just cut off the excess here. This was all attached to this before. And I've attached a wooden dowel to the back side of this, as in the side without the cutting edge on. And this is for the drill chuck to hold onto, because if, it, if you clamp the drill chuck onto this, you can end up distorting it and changing the shape of it. So this way, I've just hammered in this dowel here and it'll be able to clamp onto this instead without distorting any of this. So after using that tool, you can see what we're left with. You can see the screw just sitting there. That's the screw only now. All the wood around it is collapsed with the plug cutter. So now we just need to knock this little last bit of screw, which is, must be held right at the bottom half. So we can just wiggle that about and it should come out. There we go, you can see it's just come up now. I've, I just went a tiny bit deeper with the drill. And there it is. So now we've got a nice neat hole. All that's left to do is to fill that with a matching plug. I've got one here cut of matching wood. This is ash and so is the plug. Yeah, so that's going to go in there with some tight bond glue. I'm not going to push it in all the way yet because it'll be difficult to get back out. I've already cut it up roughly to the line where it's going to be, so there'll be minimal shaving afterwards to get it down level. So now the glue's dried and I've filed it flush, uh, scraped it flush I should say. And you can see it's ended up about the same size as the other countersunk holes anyway. So by the time this is drilled, drilled and countersunk, you'd hardly tell the difference even with the bridge off. But obviously it's all going to be covered under the bridge anyway, but it's still nice to be neat. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to re-drill for that and then I can start assembling the space. Obviously far better than having to do this fix is preventing happening in the first place. And you can do that by always drilling to the right diameter and the right depth. Uh, the right diameter is normally only about half a millimetre under the size of the screw for tuner screws, for example, on the back of a headstock. Uh, people will often try and make them too tight, and then that's when they get problems. And obviously the right depth as well. I think sometimes people worry about drilling through the other side of the headstock so they don't go quite deep enough, and then that can cause problems also. If you do both of those things by drilling to the right depth and diameter, it's unlikely that you'll ever break the screw again. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done that. I um, can't remember the last time, but I remember the first time I did was on my very first parts build. Yeah, it was a P-Base, uh, about 15 years old. And I think I broke four different screws off in the back of the headstock before I realised what I was doing wrong. Um, so it's happened to everybody at some point, I'm sure. 
that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about the process on this video, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again.